If your organization uses Microsoft 365 and you have a need for a project management tool, Microsoft Teams checks a lot of the boxes for an excellent tool. And today we're gonna to show you how to set up a project in Microsoft Teams and how all the benefits of Teams can be utilized for successful project management. Microsoft Teams is an all-encompassing solution for a lot of business needs. We're gonna walk through some of the larger benefits that Teams provides uh, when utilizing it for project management, and then also take you through step-by-step -step setting up an example project in Teams and how that can be best be used for your next project. One of the greatest benefits of using Teams for project management is that by using Teams, you are creating a central source of truth for your project. So how often as a project manager or as a project lead, you're getting asked questions such as, uh, when is this due? What tasks are assigned to me? Where can I get updates? Um, where can I find documentation or meeting minutes? By putting project in, projects into Teams, you have a central channel that's clear, clearly labeled with tabs that create um, homes for an array of information. And because Teams integrates with so many other tools and even outside tools that your team may use um, and be used to, you can have all of those integrated into your channel so that nobody needs to leave the channel to access any aspect of the project. Another great benefit to using Teams for project management is the ability to organize your project. So by utilizing Teams, channels, and tabs, you can make your project super accessible and transparent to anybody on your project team. This organization also addresses any security concerns because anything that you set up within this channel is just going to inherit the permissions and security setup that you've already created for your team. Okay, so we're gonna walk through how we would set up a sample project in Teams, just so you can get a feel for what it looks like, how I like to set up the tabs. So what I have here is my team, which is called Ashley's Test Team. And what I would do is set up a team for clients. For, well, for us, it's clients. For you, it could be any different type of project. But whatever your project types can roll up to, that's what you'll want to name your team. And that way, you can have channels set up for specific projects. So for this test team right here, you'll see there's the general channel and then I have project one, project two, um, just to play out the scenario of having multiple types of projects with this client. And then what I'll do is just go ahead and create a new channel for my new project. All right, so I'm gonna add a channel just like you would normally. So the benefits of this, again, is if you're setting up a channel and not a private channel, it's going to inherit the permissions for your team. So if you have a uh, client already set up, you don't need to add members, change members, as long as your project team is staying the same. So I'm going to add a channel and I'm going to call this project three. Um, so you can add your description um, and set the privacy, which hopefully it for the sake of ease of this one, I'll just do standard to inherit the uh, privacy settings for my team and go ahead and click add and then it's going to show up. So a few things that Teams ad adds as standard are these tabs up here. So here's where you're really going to get into customizing how you're going to use this channel for your specific project. Um, first, the post tab, that you'll always want to stay. I actually, I don't think you even can delete it if you wanted to, but that's where all your communication is going to happen. So this is the hub of communication for your project. So we're not using email, uh, we're not using phone calls, uh, you know, texting people. Everything happens here and it provides uh, transparency for your, for your project team. Everyone knows uh, everyone's caught up. If, if communication occurs regarding the project, then the rest of the project team can see that and also be in the loop of what's going on. You can do conversations. You can create announcements. So right here, start a new conversation. You can have quick chats with somebody from your project team. You can tag them. Hey, I have a question. Hey, this happened. This might impact your task. Or you can set up, if you're the project manager, you can set up an announcement just by clicking down here. And again, these are features you may have already used in Teams, but it's just a powerful new twist when you're using them um, for a specific project. Uh, so you can do your announcements here for, hey, this changed, I want everyone to know, maybe there's a deadline update, um, or just a status update in general. 
And the ability to have conversations, tag people, chat back and forth is, is really where the, the power comes from in using the post tab. Um, the next tab that we'll go to is files. So every time you set up a new channel, you're also going to get a document repository in SharePoint that is associated. So that's why you'll see this here. You can open and open in SharePoint, um, but that's going to give you a similar view. The point is you don't have to leave Teams to see all of the documents that are related to this project. So anything from PowerPoint, you, if you have a slide deck, if you have Word documents, Excel files, photos, you can organize those in this document library just by accessing the files tab and everything for your project is going to stay right here. One of their benefits to this files tab is that you can take any of your documents in here and chat about them in the posts tab. So without having to open and save different versions of the files, I can post the document right here and you know tag somebody on my project team, ask their opinion, ask them to help me with it, and documents in the files tab will, can be co-authored. So myself and anyone else, multiple people within my project team can work on a document together at the same time. And there's no versioning issues because we're co-authoring live, nobody's emailing back and forth, nobody on the team has to wonder if they're using the most recent version, and then I can also uh, ask for comments and feedback and, and chat about the document right here. And the other benefit, just like before, is that your whole project team is going to see discussions that you had about the document, so again, everyone's caught up without any additional steps. The next tab, I like to add a tab for notes. So Teams automatically gives you Wiki. I'm going to remove that and just show what we like to use it for, which is OneNote. So again, as long as you're using um, something in the Microsoft 365 suite, it's going to inherit the permissions of your team. So when I add a OneNote, um, it's going to use the same security settings that my team already has set up. Um, there was a team notebook automatically created when I created this team. So I'm just going to select that. I do want to post to the channel just because I want everyone on my project team to know where we're going to be going for notes. And then I'll hit save. And then you can see how that will show up. Um, it shows up Ashley's test team notebook. I'm going to go ahead and rename this. I'll close out of that. And I'll just rename it to something simple which is notes, because again, it doesn't matter what tool you're using. You can keep uh, Wiki in here. You can use a different tool for your notes. Um, as long as that tab is called notes, your whole team knows where to go to access the notes. So here you can have anything from meeting minutes um, to notes or documentation about your project. And then there's never a question from your project team where they can access that information. So if somebody missed a meeting, they know right within the channel, they can just go to notes, look at that day's meeting minutes that they missed and be all caught up without having to ask anybody where things are. The other tab that I always like to make sure is added to my project is a tab for, I'll call it task management. So whichever tool that you are using to assign and track tasks in your projects, um, make sure is added if for really the best practice for project management in Microsoft Teams. So the benefit here when you add a tab is that uh, Teams integrates with a lot of different project management tools. So you do have your Microsoft ones, project, planner, um, but there's other ones in here too if you use a third party, if you use monday.com, Trello, one of those other tools, if that works best for your project, you can add that as a tab and you're still getting the benefit of having your central source of truth, which is all the aspects of your project in one place. I'm gonna use Planner. So that's what's called Tasks by Planner and To Do as um, this app right here. And again, the benefit of using a Microsoft tool for task management is that it's gonna inherit the permissions that you've already created for your team. So you don't need to, there's no other logins, logouts, setting up security, all of that. Um, you can create a new plan. So I'm gonna call this, um, yeah, tasks for project three. And then again, you can post to the channel about this tab just to keep everyone informed. And I'll rename this tab, uh, again, just like we did with the notes one, I'm just gonna rename this to 
tasks because it doesn't matter which tool you're using, it just matters that people can quickly and easily access what they need. Um, and now tasks, you can, you're gonna have a planner board that's really integrated directly into your channel. So here's where you can add your tasks, make sure everything's assigned to people, uh, and then you can have discussions and remind people about tasks all within this channel, and again, without ever having to leave. Um, here's where you can also get into your charts for status updates, for schedules, if anyone on the project team wants to view the calendar or see where the project is at. And this eliminates the question that people always um, raise, which is, I don't know, how do I see what's assigned to me? How do I find out what my due dates are? This solves all of those problems that project managers can run into because there's one central uh, source that your whole team knows they need to access to get all of that information. And finally, uh, just one last note is that anytime you're setting up a project, in Teams, you can continue to add tabs the way that we just did for the notes and for the tasks. For the, if there's any tool that's relevant to your specific project, whether that be a whiteboard tool, if that's how your team you know, generates and collaborates on ideas, maybe there's a design site, depending again on what type of project and what tools your project team likes to use. Teams integrates with so many different um, applications that you can scroll through and add all of those things as a tab. Uh, or if it's just a website, you can just add a website also to add as a tab, and that way you're just keeping with the consistency of team members only having to access the channel to get to anything they need for the project. Teams is highly customizable, and you're gonna be able to set up a project in a way that works best for your specific team and project. Uh, now that we've gone through the setup of an example project in Teams, how can we use this for future projects? If I've found what I like, this is what works well for us, my team is used to it, you can actually save yourself a lot of time if you're a project manager by using your project setup as a template. Um, we actually have a whole other video on this if you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to use uh, a current channel setup that you like as a template. And what that'll do is next time you create, if I were to start project four right here, I could use, just use my temp template and my tabs will automatically set up the way that I've set them up here. So this is a huge time saver. It makes it very easy to set up future projects. And the biggest benefit is that your team is already familiar with the setup and where to go to access the information that they need. If you want to watch that video to learn more about creating templates in Teams, we'll throw that video up here in the cards so that you can check that out. So overall, Microsoft Teams keeps work visible and accessible to everyone on the, on the project team while maintaining a central source of truth. There are so many different tools and capabilities that Microsoft has for communication and collaboration. It really can be a powerful tool for project management. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can see more of our videos in the future. Just so you know, we also have a written version of this type of content and many more topics through a learning center that's on our website. We will post a link to that down below for any more in-depth help that you might need. We do office hours, open office hours once a month, and we'll post more information to that in the description box below as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.